You stop there and then you walk the rest of the way as a normal walk, as, a, as you would walk customarily towards up until you reach Al Marwa. When you reach Al Marwa, then you ascend it as you ascended Al Safa. And what did you do when you ascended Safa? Remember now, there's no, rec- there's no re- recitation of the ayah, Inna Safa wal Marwata min sha'airillah. You don't recite that again. You only recite it once when you start the Sa'i. Never again. You don't recite it again. So now when you ascend Marwa, what did you do when you ascended Safa? You, you, what was the first thing that you did? You faced the Kaaba. So again, you faced the Qibla. So you faced the Kaaba, though you cannot see it uh, in, uh, today because they are uh, renovating the, the, the whole of the Haram. So you will not be able to see it. But nevertheless, that you face the Qibla and you do what you did at Safa, which is, of course, you raise your hands and then you say, as you said before, لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده أنجز وعده ونصر أبدا وهزم الأحزاب وحدا. شيخ الألباني brings a wording that is slightly different to that and we'll come to that. Again, you recite it how many times? Three times. And after the first time, dua. As long as you wish. Dua and dhikr and calling upon Allah and beseeching Allah, seeking forgiveness for yourself, seeking forgiveness for your parents, seek, seeking guidance for yourself and for your parents and for your children, and making dua for those in need, making dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes you better, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you taqwa, makes you from the muttaqeen, enters you into jannah, protects you from the hellfire, protects you from the punishment of the grave, Allah pr- prevents you from falling into sin, and Allah enters you into jannah, and so on. All of this supplication... All of these supplications and the supplications should be focused upon the akhirah. And occasionally, there's no harm in mentioning the dunya. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adab nar. A person should never ever focus his dua always on the dunya. Oh Allah, make me rich. Oh Allah, give me money. Oh Allah, you know, help me to do this. Oh Allah, get me new, help me to get a new car. These kind of ad'iyah, these kinds of supplications, barakallahu feekum, are for people who focus their vision upon the dunya. As for people who focus upon the akhirah, then they do not make supplications, except if that supplication enters into a dua. Or it is a supplication that is needed but it is not the main course and the main, the main stay of your supplication. Like for example, a person is ill and you say, Oh Allah, bring me cure. Of course that's something that is for the betterment of your dunya. However, you want betterment in your dunya so that you live longer and you have good health so you can worship Allah. Of course, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Oh Allah, give us the best in this world and the best in the akhirah and the best in the hereafter and protect us from the hellfire. And likewise that you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you rizq and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you ilm but that ilm will aid you and the rizq will sustain you so you may worship Allah. But if that supplication is combined with the supplication for the akhirah then there's no harm. But as for supplications that oh Allah help me to become rich. Oh Allah help me to get a bigger house. Oh Allah I want a, I want a new carpet. Oh Allah I want a bigger car. Oh Allah I want a second car. Oh Allah I want a second wife. Oh Allah I want all of your supplications like this, then this is a person who wants the dunya and he wants his jannah in the dunya. So your dua predominantly, overwhelmingly, should be seeking the hereafter, should be seeking forgiveness, should be seeking guidance, should be, prote- should be seeking salvation from the hellfire and Allah's punishment. And here and there, where it is munasib and where it is uh, needed, that you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for increase in this dunya, where it is needed. Like you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you rizq and so on. Then, so after doing that, then he descends from Al Marwa and then he does the same walking.